Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to do a recap of what happened today at WWDC, the Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco, California, held by Apple. Now, WWDC, for those of you who don't know, is the conference held by Apple in California every year at which Apple gives a keynote. This year, uh, for example, Phil Schiller gave the keynote, and uh, it talked about what Apple is going to be re releasing later in that year. So let's do a recap of what happened today. So let's start with things we already kind of knew were going to happen today. For instance, iPhone 3.0 software we knew was going to be released today due to the iPhone 3.0 conference a few months ago iPhone 3.0 will be available June 17th, so that's very soon, June 17th, uh, free to all iPhone users and uh, a $9.95 upgrade to iPod Touch users. Definitely worth $9.95. Some of the features in iPhone 3.0 can be seen in my iPhone 3.0 video, video, just search it on my channel. But some of those features are copy and paste, MMS, and other things like that. Another feature that was worked into the new iPhone software was uh, for MobileMe customers, say you get your device lost or stolen, you can remote format your device, send alerts to your device, and locate your device via GPS. And I think that's very, very cool. A big thing that Apple pushed today uh, in the iPhone 3.0 was GPS. A lot of GPS turn-by-turn -turn direction softwares were introduced today. Safari 4, the final version, was released today, June 8, 2009, no longer in beta. You can download it now from Apple.com. Another big thing that Apple was going that we knew Apple was going to release today was their new operating system, Snow Leopard, which will be 10.6. Snow Leopard will be available in September for all Intel Macs. $29 for Leopard users and $49 for the family pack. Leopard won't be a massive upgrade, that's why it doesn't cost uh, over $100, but um, I'm definitely going to upgrade, definitely worth $30. Um, it's only $30, so why wouldn't you upgrade? It's fantastic. In Snow Leopard, some of the features they've updated are Mail and Preview are a lot faster, and uh, Streamline Desktop as well as Expose is worked into the dock icons. The MacBook Airs were also updated today. The lowest end MacBook Air worth $1749, which is a price cut, will uh, have a 1.86 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of memory, uh, 120 gig serial ATA hard drive, and the highest end MacBook Air will be a 2.13 gigahertz processor, 2 gigs of internal memory, 128 gig solid state drive, which is fantastic, and uh, that'll be worth $2,099 Canadian. That's the MacBook. That's the new MacBook Air. Another curveball that Apple threw at us today was the new line of MacBook Pros. The only computer that Apple will be selling called a MacBook now is the little white MacBook worth 1149 Canadian. So that's uh, $1149 Canadian. The new MacBook Pros will range from 13 inches to 17 inches. The lowest end MacBook Pro you can buy now is a 13 inch with 2 gigs of internal memory, 160 gig hard drive. All of the MacBook Pros will have a built-in, equipped, non-removable 7-hour battery, which is absolutely fantastic, and a built-in SD uh, memory card slot, which is great too. The 17-inch MacBook Pro will have the same built-in 8-hour battery that was released in March 2009. Another astonishing thing about these MacBooks is this price cut that Apple has made on them. All of the MacBooks have suffered severe price cuts today, so Apple is really making their uh, notebook computers very affordable to everyone. So as you see, if you go to Apple.com, Apple has tremendously cut prices and made Macs more affordable or Mac laptops more affordable for people. All of these MacBook Pros are available as of now in the Apple Store. Now to finish off, Apple released one of the most hyped up devices ever at a technology conference, the new iPhone. The new iPhone will be entitled the iPhone 3GS. The iPhone 3GS will be available in 16 gig and 32 gig models coming in black and white. It looks absolutely identical to the iPhone 3G. iPhone 3GS will have an autofocus camera, a 3 megapixel camera, and video recording, which is fantastic. It'll have improved performance, built-in video camera with editing, voice control, a compass for all you outdoors guys, cut, copy, and paste, 
MMS, a spotlight search, uh, a landscape keyboard, and voice memos. Now, in terms of battery life, I'm sorry, I'm just looking over at my screen here with all the specs. In terms of battery life, up to five hours on 3G, standby time up to 300 hours, uh, internet use up to five hours on 3G, up to nine hours on Wi-Fi, up to 30 hours of audio playback, and up to 10 hours of video. Now, in the box for the iPhone 3GS, you get Apple earphones with remote and a mic, a power adapter, documentation, and SIM eject tool. So very similar to the iPhone 3G. Now, they'll still be selling the iPhone 3Gs, mind you. Um, basic same specs, only comes in 8 gigs, available for $99, the iPhone 3G right now. So they've really cut prices on just the iPhone 3G iPhone 3, uh, 3G is now only available in 8 gig and in the black model. Now, the price of the new iPhone 3GS. The new iPhone 3GS will be worth $199 from the Apple Store. So guys, this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com. If you want any more further information on WWDC, I will be posting a blog post on my website, LukeDemarco.com. Check it out. Link over in the sidebar. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.